Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Tuesday 10 here at Studio Lou. So today what I'm doing is going through these 10 papers that are from my sort of bin of things that I have kept, um, like book pages, etc. So we're going to keep on working until we've made ephemera out of all 10 things. So I have this um, from an old Toronto star. Um, I don't know, but I think whatever the 26th year of the Toronto Star is, um, this is a very old newspaper. Then this is um, an old picture of this cat. His name is Parkside Cream Tart. Um, a cream chinchilla cat, apparently. Won the Grand Championship Cat Show at Kentish Town, Baths, London recently. And this has an elephant on the back. Um, this is from an old 1920 scrapbook. Actually, both of those are. Um, then I have this book page from a children's fairy tale book. I have a magazine page from a Martha Stewart Halloween issue. I want to do something with these. It's to make a container, but I'm not going to make the container as I have no need for a container. <laughs> so another um, book page from a children's storybook. This is from like a baby album. Uh, this is a jelly print on old music paper. This is this adorable frog. This is a printed piece from a release the crafting kit that was an extra. Um, this is a lovely little, um, I think it's Thornbury Tales or something. It's from a children's book and I just love this picture so much. There's gnomes on the back, but I really love this. Um, and then I have this, um, printed out picture of this woman. I believe she was wearing a morning dress. Okay, so let's get started here so the first thing i know what i want to do is i want to actually just back this to use it as a piece of stationery <clears throat> actually for a journal that i'm working on so i'm going to do so oh not with that that is a cute little painting done by my kiddos i don't know how it got in my paper bin but i will set it aside <laughs> Okay, oh, I think it must have gotten confused for um, a paper bag, maybe, as I have many, many paper bags and scrap paper, and the kids use those all the time for their artwork. So let's just glue this down on back here. <clears throat> So it was a lovely long weekend. We had really nice weather, um, not too, actually quite cool. My parents came for a visit. We did a nice, did a nice barbecue. We did a nice lunch and that was good. Um, I made some nice dessert sort of this experimental dessert idea that I had. We went to last week. Um, there is a Mennonite kind of kitchen store that I go to from time to time. And I think they make a lot of their own kind of versions of like commercial type desserts because they sell like the giant Oreo cookies that are used for making those Oreo ice cream sandwiches. And then they sell the long chocolate cookies that are used for making like those traditional um ice cream sandwiches so i made like a layered lasagna type dessert with ice cream and chocolate pudding between the layers so the kids were quite stoked for that it was a hit okay kitty cat what, how do we want to best use you hmm i need to find some kind of a good scrap and i kind of have an idea hmm that would that be big enough to yes I think so so what I want to do I think is I want to use just this circle here and then the little frame bits above it just these keep that kind of almost art deco kind of look to it I'm actually watching the Sandman on Netflix right now and I just started episode 10 that's like 
a voice, the voice of a thousand cats or something. So I just got started watching it this morning. I, I don't know what happens. I'm just in the very beginning where the, the kitty cats are all kind of getting together. And then I was watching it early this morning and then my daughter woke up. So I had to turn it off because it is too scary for kiddos. Just glue this on with a bit of our glitter glue. probably need to come in between the layers right there just to account for that old old glue that was holding it all together maybe a little on this layer too Also had something super exciting happen. Um, I never win anything. <clears throat> Pardon me, anything. I never win anything. I'm losing my voice a little bit today. I don't know why. Um, but I somehow managed to win Teal and Tattered's 20k giveaway. I cannot believe it. I am in shock and awe and joy because I absolutely love Martina and her work and um, yeah so that's the most exciting thing to have happened to me in quite some time <laughs> okay so I think that's what I want to do with this little kitty cat friend I think um, although now that I'm looking at it this is funny it kind of reminds me of a toilet seat it looks like a toilet seat <laughs> Okay, now all I'm going to see when I look at this is a toilet seat. I was thinking about maybe putting like some lace on this too, like around the edges. That could be fun. Let's do that. Yeah, and I'm working on... Um, I'm working on a lot of stuff, like a digital collection that I've been working on for quite some time. I'm trying to get it halfway, almost halfway done, I think. I'm almost halfway there. And um, I also need to start getting things ready because we are going to be going on vacation very soon. So I need to start packing I've really gotten into the habit lately when I go, when we're going somewhere, of packing like a few days ahead, like the clothing, like getting all the clothes in the suitcase and just getting that part done because it's the part that like I think gives me the most um, anxiety about going away. It's like, oh, I'm not going to get everything done. I'm not going to get everything packed. I'm going to forget something. So if I start it considerably earlier, then I'm like, oh, I'm good. I don't need to be fretting. I, I don't have any real worries here because I've already packed all the clothes. Okay, I just want that around the bottom edge. And I'm probably also going to go around it with a stitch too. Oops, I need to cut this. There we go. Okay. There, you're no longer looking like a toilet seat, my kitty cat friend. All right, that's that. Let's recenter ourselves here. I think that can go in the recycle bin. Now, this gal, I'm going to use her next. What a cute picture. Oh my gosh. So, I need like a thicker piece of paper, maybe. Hold on. It looks like just this would be good. Just fold this in half. And we'll glue. This is just a scrap of an old printout that I do not need anymore. And that's what we'll use to back this. This is the Dion quintuplets on the back of this. I got like um 
an estate auction one day that had a ton of old newspaper clippings of the Dion quintuplets. They were Canadian, I believe from Quebec, like a quintuplets that were born, I think in the late sixties or early seventies. And you know, at that time it was very weird, right? To have so many babies, it was unusual. Um, so unfortunately, like they were really exploited as a result of being quintuplets like their whole lives for their entire childhood they were under like the like micromanagement of this doctor and like i don't know their poor parents i don't think knew how to protect them from that sort of curse of fame and having their like whole childhood robbed from them but I watched a documentary a few years ago on the the living the ones that were still living at the time they were older and I think they did get to eventually get some good life in but it took a while Oops. Kitty cat jumped off the desk here. I'm going to put this on this side. We don't have enough room. Okay. So now we have her and I have this little bit of red ribbon. See the benefit to having stuff hanging out up here is that like I can keep a little bit of stuff to use. Like these are like little scraps when I'm making journals. I'm just throwing my little scraps of like lace and little paper things like this little frame. And then I have like a little bit of scrap right there to use all the time. So I'm going to stitch that on when I do the stitching part of this. But I think I also would like to round the corners here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, fun. Put those back on. All right. What's next? What's next? So maybe um, her. I've got this that would be a good background. So let's just cut her out and make her like a focal point. this down in my glue book. Yeah, but we had a relatively uneventful long weekend. We just kind of hung out with my folks, had um, nice food, and went for a nice walk. As we do every day, pretty much. We walk Okay, that's fun. Maybe we'll do something more with that too. I keep wanting to use these like little frames in my collage. That could be something fun. Let's let's do it. Let's actually use this thing that I've had hanging around and maybe we'll just do some collage with some other bits and bobs and make like a journal card or a tag this way just by framing Okay, frame her. Well, let me look at what else I've got here. Um, from this page, I was thinking that this would be nice on the back of a tag, but I have these nice flowers here too. Um, I don't see myself wanting to use these little funny babies. That could be a nice frame for something. Hmm. I wonder if, do I have like, yeah, I have a circle punch. I could circle punch that and put it in here and that would be kind of a cute little add-on for something. Okay. I think I'm 
going to use that to back whatever I make here with this. So let me grab some more focal point type things. This is just my bin of little fussy cut bits and bobs. So that stuff's too big. Let me just get all the big, big stuff out of the way here. Okay. How cute. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to have anything in here. Oops. Okay. Not mice, not kids, not a whale. This is like a mirror. She could be holding this mirror, but it would look a little weird, maybe. It's like a little little scraps of this and that. This is admittedly a really weird bin of different um, strange focal point <laughs> type things, like weird fussy cuts. I don't know. It's super random. Like we have a red panda for some reason. This is a fox. It's spelling book. Lots of people. Hmm. I don't think the right things are in here. I think I need more like scrappy type stuff. Let me grab that instead. is more scrappy type stuff. So, toys and games. Hmm. It's a ticket. a little envelope. Okay, let's get it together here. <laughs> I'm going to fold this little envelope and see if it would be cute on here. I think it's an envelope. Yeah. So we'll fold these, one, two, and three, and four. Yeah, okay, I have a plan now. I need my ink. So you need to ink the edges of this envelope. I need to use my messy book, not the one that I want to use to back this. Okay. And I'll just ink the folds too. All right, now I want to close this envelope up. Completely, I think. glue these down. Okay. 
How do I have that straight? I think, yeah. All right, now we'll try to make a bit of a tag shape here. I'll use this baby book to back it with. How far do the lines go? Right there. Okay. Pretty well done with this. I don't think I need to keep this bit at the top of these birds. It's okay. Just not needed. Now maybe I want like um, I want to stitch around this, and I want to put an eyelid in and possibly a word. So let me just take a moment to stitch. Okay, so I'm all stitched around now. I want to put an eyelid in the top of here. So and do that. I'm going to use a silver eyelet. There we go. And then the word snippet I found is looking glass upon the wall. Who is the fairest of us all? So I want to grab, hold on. some of this silver um, gilding wax and I just want to put some right in here a little space around her almost as though it's a looking glass then Let me just layer these words a little bit. Oops. We have a glue goober. Hold on. That's the world's glue supply. We don't need all of that. Okay. Looking glass. Who is the fairest of us all? Okay, there we go. Now, do I have a little bit from in here that I would want to put in here? That would possibly be too. 
Yeah, these always fray. That's kind of cool. Let's go with the frayed version. And then we'll just loop it here, through here. Let's separate there. Pull all those frays on through. Okay, now I'll just tie one more knot so that nothing undoes. There we go. And then the back, we ended up using that fun children's paper. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, move along to the next. So let's go with this Halloween page now. Um, actually, this would be better, maybe. fit on there. Well, maybe. Let me cut. this off here. Some of these have tabs, which is good. I could keep them as little tip out type things. Sounds like my children are having some kind of an argument. <laughs> uh, it's rough when you've got a two-year-old and a five-year-old. They're on very different wavelengths. And I am learning that more and more as the days go on. <laughs> my son is just like 500% all the time right now. Hello. You escaping your brother? Yeah. <laughs> Had a little momentary visitor. I don't know if she'll come back or not. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these out now. So I've just backed them with some file folder. Now we're just kind of fussy cutting around them here. Alright, so that's fun. And then we can fold the tab if we want, and that could be like a little gusset. Uh. Then, next I am going to cut this witch out. And I'm not going to leave the tab on her, I'm just going to cut her out. Um, this is a little bit easier to cut out, not so bad. Cute. I have probably had this magazine for Ever. I don't know what year it was, but I used to many, many, I mean like, oh my gosh, over 10 years ago, I had a subscription to Martha Stewart magazine and like, I loved the Halloween issues. It was like a nice kind of cozy read. <laughs> I don't currently subscribe to any magazines right now, but I do pick them up at bookstores. 
I would subscribe to some, but I also find the cost of them have really gone up. And I mean, I, I get it. Print media is expensive to, to make. Um, I also think like I don't need to have as many magazines. I'm planning to get back to doing frequent, hopefully weekly use your books series, kind of like I'm doing here with Tuesday 10 so that I go through all my magazines and, you know, make the things in them that I want to, and then I won't necessarily need them anymore. Okay. So what do we have left? We have this, we have these and we have our frog. You know what I think I want to do maybe with her? I want to fussy cut her out kind of, and then I'm going to just cut around her. I don't want to cut in between all her fingers. Uh, Actually, you know what we can do? We can actually just get rid of that arm entirely as though it's behind her. Easy. Okay. And then I will use her maybe on this page. Uh, so. Is my ruler here? It is. And then I will just go here. It's me too, the mama. Hi, honey. I'm just making a video. Okay, so then we will tear around the edges here, and then we will have this cute journal card. And I could add like a word snippet to that, or maybe. Um, even some lace would be kind of nice. I've got, oh, I've got so much lace. That would be neat. Like even as like a cross, like a belly band that you did across a journal card. Um, hmm. Got this. I don't know. Maybe I want to keep it simple too. Hmm. Actually, I have this too. Maybe I'll put this in here. A beautiful fairy. That'd be cute. You could even give her some wings, maybe. This here. And then, put a bit of glass seam here. Maybe what I'll do is just fold this as so. I'll kind of cut some. shapes here to maybe make some wings. Just like that. We don't need to maybe, or if we do, we could over There's a shark. overlap from here. Hmm. Well, that could be very cute, actually. Yes, love. Can I fly my volume up a little bit? Not while I'm filming. After I'm done filming, yes. When I'm done, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. I know. I know. Hmm? I know, Mama. The mother. Thank you. Silly heart. Okay. Whoops. So now we will stick that up here and that will be her wings. And a little bit of this silver paste, maybe that's way too much, that's better. Okay. I'll just let that kind of dry. 
Yay. Okay. Now we have this and we have this. Okay. I'm not going to use this page. There's nothing on it that I need. All right. So this. I know I want to use her. And I just saw these leaves that are really nice. Things like this make really nice tuck spots. So, okay, I need to decide how I'm going to back, what I want to put her on. I do have some like nice Tim Holtz paper um, and I might tear it in half. Oops, it's out of the way here. Maybe just glue all of it down here. Just on my glue book. of this. Now I need some backing paper. Oh, I have another children's painting here. This one we can use. out again. And then I'm going to stitch around the edge of it. And I'm going to fold it actually right on the fold that I made between these two sheets of paper. Um, There we go. So I will stitch around the edge of that, but it'll be like a cute little journal booklet maybe. And I'm just gonna put some washi tape over, over the edge. Okay, so washi tape. now we're around the edges and then I will just have to stitch around it at the end here. I will have this fun little booklet and I may even add a bit of lace on it as well. Let's just refold this fold again. Hmm. 
maybe I won't do lace for now. Okay, let's set that aside to be stitched. Then we have this. I'm gonna grab a piece of this um this is actually scrapbook old 1920 scrapbook ledger 1850 ledger and it's like a leftover page i'll just cut this off and i really like the color of it i feel like this would be really cool on a tag need to back it as well. We can use this bit of painting here. Hearing some background noise, it'd be my very impatient little one waiting for me to be finished. It's me, Matilda. Yes. That's five. Mm -hmm. I love you, Mama. I love you, too. Uh, okay. Am I interrupting your No, you're not interrupting. You're fine. Uh, does that mean I can put my volume up? No, no volume yet. You have to wait until I'm finished. Uh, right, so we're going to do this. All right, so that's backed. And then I think I'll put some lace some red of that red lace up here as well it's really nice and i think it will go nicely with this just a little bit up there then i feel like i want to put a little more collage on here um i've got this this is kind of nice there's that and then we would need something just some of this gray scrap under here that like that out there tough decisions okay. these little floral bits here too these down.
that and then that has to get stitched then we just have one more bit here um, and I need to firm up this paper with something strong because it's a mute it's a um it'd be nice on the back of that maybe let's do that this is just a magazine page so it needs a little more strength Matilda, please. Oh, I want okay. to hear myself. All right. Let's try that again. <laughs> I need to line this up better. There we go. Nope, still not. It this way because then I can see where the edge of this ends right there. Okay, that's better. So now we can cut it out from the back. And that'll be a really cute writing space on the back of this frog drink. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to stitch around a few things. I'll come back and I will show you everything all finished. Um, and then I guess we'll be done and I will be back to entertaining kiddos. Okay, we did it. We did 12 pieces today. So this little booklet, this journal card of this fairy with her wings, a journal card of this cute frog with this on the back. This tag and this tag. These four little Halloween motifs. Little tuck spots. This oh. beauty. Our kitty cat friend. And a large piece of stationery that I will put in the litter fold. So that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for Tuesday 10. And I will be back again very soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.